Hey guys, Vlad here with David Astro. So it's Sunday. Uh, let me show you outside. It's been cloudy for weeks and weeks. Uh, I already did my church watching today in the morning. I just did the dishes. Still kind of bored. Have a little bit of free time during the weekend. But I do have an Astro project that needs to get done. So let's check it out. Alright, alright. So um, as you might have guessed from the video today or from the video title i said today i'm going to be cleaning a telescope mirror more specifically this is a 10 inch coulter f10 mirror uh, that i just picked up um you know it's not too horrific you know it's uh it's definitely not clean though so i could use a cleaning this is an older mirror, so it does already have a few sleeks in it, but nothing that it's going to affect the view at all, so... Yeah, that's the mirror that we're working on. Oh, and by the way, don't tell my wife that I put this on the kitchen counters. This dirty box, I mean. <laughs> okay, uh, anyhow, so the supplies that we're going to be using. So, uh, this is the bucket that I usually use to wash like smaller mirrors, so they'll fit in there nicely. Uh, if I'm working on a bigger mirror, I actually do it in this thing. Um, you can, you know, some people use their sink to wash their mirror and you can do that. I prefer not to just because there's grease and all kinds of stuff in there. Alright, so here's the top secret supplies that you're going to need. Pond balls. Lots and lots of pond balls. Nothing special, just make sure they're 100% con, like, you know... Buy it. Usually they are. Just make sure there's no like perfume fragrances or anything of that type of junk on them. Um, soap. So the type of soap that you want, you want dish soap, but you want to make sure that it's the one that does not again have any fragrances, perfume, scents, or anything. This one I think I bought at Target if I remember correctly. Dawn actually usually makes one that's really good. It's just that, uh, you know, last time I was shopping for kind of astronomy type of dish soap, uh, I was at Target, you know, it works fine. Um, Kleenex. So we're going to get to these. These are kind of optional for doing a mirror, but uh, as we'll see, they can be quite helpful. So I know, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Like these are actually, uh, I use for a clean SCT corrector, so we're not going to need those. All right, let's get to it. All right, all right, guys. So the first thing before we begin, just a couple of general tips. Um, so telescope mirrors, you know, and usually like if you have a loose, like you know, we're cleaning one today, you're you know, chance are inside of a dog. Uh, but they're actually uh, they're one of the finestly polished or made things on Earth, literally. I think uh, the analogy that I read in an astronomy book a while ago is that uh, they're so finely uh, figured that uh, like if you were on the football field and you know there's a piece of paper on um, laying there on the football field like you know that's basically how finely uh, polished they are so you do want to be careful with them as much as possible um, typically you know you really shouldn't be cleaning your mirror more than like you know probably definitely not more than like once a year um, you know, it's just really not necessary. Like the mirror that we're working on today, um, it could use a clean, you know, realistically, quite frankly, um, it's probably not going to make a difference in the view uh, that it'll produce, you know, after we clean it. But I've got a future video that I thought would be fun since I've got this 10 inch Coulter. Um, I'm actually going to put it up against my uh, 5 inch Astrophysics against the 130 GT. Uh, so I do want it to have the best uh, shot. Uh, so first things first, uh, take off any jewelry that, you know, could potentially damage, you know, the mirror, like if it falls. So like, you know, I'm wearing my wedding ring, so I'm going to take that off. Because as I'm handling the mirror, um, you know, this can certainly scratch us. So, you know, it's a good idea to take off any jewelry. If you have like glasses on, I mean, make sure that they don't fall in the mirror either. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my little bucket that I, you know, usually use for cleaning mirrors with water. I'm going to give it a quick rinse. I mean, this thing is clean. I don't use this for anything besides, uh, you know, cleaning optics. Um, but, you know, there's probably some dust in there. So I have a microfiber cloth. I usually just put this on the bottom so there's no chance of the plastic scratching in there. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna rinse that off a little bit, fill this up with water a little. Basically, you know, you just want enough water in there to uh, to where it'll cover the mirror completely. So let's uh, let's magically wait for it to fill up. I guess it's about filled now. Um, you know, while this kind of you know uh, finishing filling up here. Uh, just real quick, you know, I'm by no means like an expert in this. I've cleaned probably, I don't know, like about a dozen dog mirrors. There's, you know, a few different ways of doing it. This, you know, this method that I'm using is, you know, pretty much, you know, kind of like the popular one from what I, you know, from what I could gather. Um, so yeah, let me grab the mirror and, you know, we'll kind of get to it. All right, all right, so here's the mirror. Um, so when you're holding it, you know, just try to hold it from the sides. You know, you don't want to actually put your fingers on, you know, the mirror surface. So kind of self-explanatory, more or less. Um, and then basically what you want to do first is, uh, this mirror, again, is, you know, fairly clean, not too much grime on it. But you want to try to wash off as much as you can just by running water, you know, over the mirror. And you know, if your mirror is not really dirty, like if all it has is dust on it, this may be the only thing that you have to do, you know, realistically. You may not have to, you know, clean it further, but we'll kind of go through all the steps and, uh, yeah, so basically, you know, that's usually what I'll do is I'll just kind of run water over it for about a minute or so. So after that's done, basically, you just take your mirror and you submerge it in the little tub. I'll actually put the tub down here so it's probably a little bit easier to see on camera. Alright, so that's a pretty good shot of the mirror there. Kind of soaking. Oh, you know, like one thing too, so, um, if the mirror is pretty grimy, like if it has like, um, like a lot of dust on, especially if it has like, you know, some stuff that looks oily or like, you know, like pollen or something like that. You could actually let it sit, you know, like soak in here for a few minutes, like, you know, like 15 minutes or so. And that might have helped to kind of, you know, basically break it loose. But basically after that, what you start doing is, you know, you'll take your cotton balls, right? Um... And you essentially what you want to do is you'll take your ball, right, and before I, you know, actually put it to the mirror, what, what, what you do, the, the technique is, you know, like as you're wiping the mirror, you're also rotating the cotton ball, basically. So what you're trying to accomplish is that, you know, if you grab like a piece of dust uh, or whatever, um, that can potentially scratch the mirror. You're essentially rotating it out of, you know, like out to where it won't scratch the mirror as you kind of wipe essentially. And the sense that what you do is usually I start right in the middle, right at the center of the mirror. You know, I start to wipe. I'm rotating, rotating, rotating. So you do one wipe and this cotton ball is done. So you, you know, you throw away that cotton ball and uh, you do, you know, the next wipe. So basically, um, you know, like a little further out. So boom, you do that. And uh, yeah, you just kind of, you know, you just kind of keep on going over the whole mirror. Alright, so kind of taking one final look before uh, the rinsing process, um, you know, like usually I'll just take the mirror out and, you, you know, you could see if there's any spots that you have to do. Yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty darn good. I really don't see anything that I, you know, really needs too much more attention. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the mirror aside for now. Um, I'm going to take this tub out because we don't need that anymore. 
And now um, I'm going to get my distilled water ready. So you know you pop this sucker open so this thing is ready to rock and roll. And what I'll actually do is just in case um, I drop the mirror or something, because um, I'm going to be kind of handling it with just one hand, I'm going to put my microfiber cloth there, because you don't want that. You don't want to drop the mirror on just, you know, like the metal tub. But basically what you want to do at first is just rinse off the mirror with just regular tap water to get off, you know, any of the soap that might be on there or any of the like little, you know, kind lints or whatever. So just give her a good rinse. Again, for probably like around a minute is all you really need, you know, it doesn't need to be for too terribly long. And then what I'll do is I will shut the water off, you know, and get the spout out of the way. And then the final step in the cleaning process is that you rinse the mirror with distilled water. This is important if you're not familiar. Distilled water is basically water that they remove like all of the chemicals from and that type of deal. And as I'm as I'm rinsing, right, like I'm kind of you want to finish to where like kind of like I finished right now to where there's as few drops on the mirror as possible, you know, and that's kind of like, you know, luck of the draw, I guess. Um, so, you know, just kind of stop rinsing uh, when you don't see very many drops on there. Now, at this point, what you could do is uh, you could uh, actually just leave the mirror and let it air dry. Technically, it should not leave any residue, this water that's on there, the little water drops. Um, for whatever reason, I always find that I do have a little bit of, um, you know, like residue left for after the water dries. So a couple of different ways of, you know, taking care of uh, the rest of these. If there's really only a few of them and, you know, if there aren't any at the center, um, you could use a bulb to just kind of blow them off the sides. Um, I find that that still sometimes leaves residue, so I don't do that too often unless it's like a really small mirror, or like a really small optic. Uh, one method that you could do is you could dab. So you take a, you know, like a fresh cotton ball, right? And you just, you know, so there's a couple of drops right there. So let's do those. So you just go dab, 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 right? And that should kind of, you know, clean them up pretty nicely. There's actually one other method that I personally really like to use and I'm actually going to set up uh, at a different uh, spot here so let me change the camera angle here. Alright so here's uh, here's the mirror kind of set up you know you can kind of still see the water spots on there. What you could do a lot of times what I like to do with my optics is you know kind of like the final drying step is you have to buy Kleenex that are again the fragrance free, the lotion free, the whatever free. I've actually tried several brands, it's kind of weird, Kleenex does work the best, I don't know, I, I don't know why, but uh, um, apparently the other ones, even if they claim that they're lotion and fragrance free, they still have a little bit of, you know, like lotion or whatever in them, I don't know. But anyway, what you do is, you actually just take Kleenexes, right, and you just lay them down all over the surface of the mirror. And what that does is, you know, I mean, if you think about it, Kleenex, they're designed to absorb, you know, moisture, which they do great. Um, the only kind of downside with this is that usually it does leave a little bit of a lint, you know, on the mirror, but you could just blow that off with the bulb in most cases, you know, if, you, if it really bothers you. But anyhow, yeah, I'll just put, you know, like a, you know, like a decent amount of Kleenex on there. And just kind of very lightly tap it so that, you know, like all the um, little, you know, like water spots get absorbed into the Kleenex. And then you just lift it off. And uh, yeah, usually you have a perfect mirror. So I see that there's like a few, um, you know, a few spots left. You can actually, if there's only a few of them, you can actually use Kleenex and kind of just use the edge. And it'll just kind of like, you know, zap the water away. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera there, but yeah, you just kind of use the edge of a Kleenex and yeah, it just kind of absorbs the water right in. It's pretty cool actually. Kind of fun. So yeah, 
That's all there is to it. Um, so now we have a perfectly clean mirror. Finished product. Alright guys, so that kind of concludes the video. You know, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the comments below uh, or shoot me an email. Uh, if you like the video, do the thumbs up and like on the video. If you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.